advanced diploma jewellery course is a two year course and the first year is the diploma where they do a broad range of jewellery techniques, it's very hands on and we have a bit of design with it as well but they specialise in learning techniques that they can derive an income from. It's an interesting course and uh, very beneficial to undertake. The things I like most about it is that it's predominantly uh, practical skills based, so hands on, with some theory and also some design elements as well. So a good grounding for uh, jewellery manufacture. Enamelling is a process in jewellery to supply, to provide a surface colour technique and uh, it's made from vitreous glass which is put in a kiln and fired to melt the glass over the surface. So with enamelling, there are a lot of um, techniques that you can use. There's plicageur, champlevé, but cloisonné is the one that I've been working with lately and it's where you get to use little fine wires to separate the colours of enamel. In addition to the cloisonné work and enamelling work we've done at NMIT, I also undertook a course with Debbie Schiesel. The course uh, covered basic enamelling and then also some uh, cloisonné work. Her work is so um, fine and intricate that She's just a master in what she does, and so I was very privileged to be able to go and do a three-day workshop with her. Uh, Debbie is renowned throughout the industry as one of the most experienced and uh, best enamelists in Australia, and if not the world. Initially, I, I really wanted to be a painter. My aunt suggested I join her at, at night school. Uh, Collingwood Tech to do jewellery. I did notice in the corner of the room this great big piece of machinery and I asked the teacher there what it was for and he said it's a kiln. And I said well what do you do with a kiln? And he said well you can put little bits of enamel on copper and you put it in the kiln and it sticks to the copper. So he got some white enamel and sprinkled it on a little piece of raw copper, put it in the kiln and it came out shiny and glistening and white and beautiful. And I fell in love. The process of enamelling, it's usually carried out on a metallic substrate, either gold, silver or copper. The metal has to be prepared um, very well, cleaned, so there's no oil or grease. You would dust across the surface a, a clear enamel and that's just going to be the base structure for you and then at the back it has the counter enamel side. The counter enamel is very important because the enamel on the metal has a tension and if you don't get them equal enamel can chip. And then the wires are put in place which is a very time consuming pastime can take hours on a piece, like 20 hours, depends on how difficult the piece is. Okay, so now the cloisons should be glued on and the gum track or clear fire should be dry. So I have my little work piece placed on a trivet and on stainless steel mesh and the kiln's at about 838 degrees and in it goes. So now that will take about a minute and a half. So after many layers, you build up with colour enamel. We apply it wet, and so we're inlaying it at that stage, around the cloisons and in the little cells as well. And then subsequent layers of enamel are built up till they overflow the top of the wires. Then they're ground down with uh, carborundum or uh, diamond files. They can either be beeswaxed so that it has a, a dull finish or they can be fired again in a kiln to bring up that gloss, which is what I usually do with my pieces. Where I'd like to specialise, maybe silversmithing or out into industry or even just set up as an individual doing my own design work.
After all these years of being in this field, I still love jewellery. I still love all the techniques that, you know, you can still learn and learn and learn. But you have to have patience and stick with it and keep going because it really is worthwhile.